morning, everyone. How are you? Let's just be honest, okay? 20 years from now, when I'm like Roseanne, and I'm like a well-known reality show, people around the world will be like, it all started in that car with that pink trucker hat at Starbucks. So why not just go ahead over there today? There is like something white all over my camera. I don't know what it is. I just started uploading my vlog from yesterday. And there's like so many clips to it. I guess I didn't realize there was clip that many clips and it's raining today. And I did that mukbang two days ago and then Tanya and I went out to eat last night. And I, uh, I, uh, I lost six pounds. I'm like, how is that even possible? Oh God, God must want me to do <laughs> mukbangs. I've got to get that word right. Everybody's been correcting me on it. It's an eating show. I like the word eating show better though, actually. I may do it one today. I don't know what, really what I want today. Yeah. Uh, what can I get for you today? Can I get a uh, venti toasted coconut whatever with one equal, please? The whatever with one equal? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, do you know, like, do you ever see people that are, like, really, really cute? But then there's, like, something about them that makes them not cute. I don't know what is going on with this camera lens. You guys are just going to have to deal with me for a second before I clean this off. But you know what I mean? Like, when there's, like, somebody and they're, like, really cute, but then there's, like, one thing about them that makes them not cute. Okay, this guy that works... And I think it's because he's like, I hope you can pull my back out, can you hear me? I think it's probably because he's very earthy and stuff like that, but I think he's very cute. But I saw him leave one day and he drives one of those little smart cars. I don't, and I don't love those smart cars. I always just think like when I see them, like if you own one, hey, I, I more power to you, but like, I always feel like, like I'm not somebody that judges people by the car they drive. I guess I'm totally judging somebody by the car they drive, aren't I? <laughs> but I don't mean it like that. Like I would, like I would not date somebody because of the car they drive or look down on a friend or something like that. But like, this is what I think, honestly, when those smart car things is, I always think like, aren't you terrified 24 hours a day that you're just going to be smashed and killed between two semis? Like, that's really what I think. So, I wonder if they're going to give this dog a pup cup. There's like this huge dog hanging out of this car. Let's see. Did you give the dog a pup cup? They didn't give the dog a puff cup. <laughs> Why would you not give the dog a puff cup? I think they just asked and she said no. I think that's so cruel. If they ask you if your dog wants a puff Oh, they did give the dog a puff cup! Aww. Do you know what a pup cup is? A pup cup is basically, I wish I could get this guy on camera. A pup cup is basically a little cup with whipped cream in it. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, I was waiting in anticipation to see if the dog was gonna get a pup cup. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a receipt as well, please? Absolutely. Thank you. This is not the guy that I thought it was. 
surprised by his voice. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, you too. Yeah, that wasn't him at all. This other guy's like, you can tell he's like a biker or a runner or something. He has like really like, that's like real, his arms are really like muscular. But he's like, Sid too. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just gonna be one of those days. And I was just talking about like race day weekend. It's so weird that it's like, look at my coffee, you guys. Look how fantastic that is. I mean, it looks like it should be, it, it just is incredible. 50 calories. Oh, this is, this one is perfect. This is perfect. It's not too much of anything. Um, and Memorial Day weekend when it rains kind of really sucks in Indianapolis because so many people want to go to the race. They never cancel the race unless it is like really, really, really torrential rain for them. They do it like the following weekend, which really just screws everybody because everybody has parties. People fly in from all over the world. There's literally like movie stars and all kinds of celebrities here. Um, it's a crazy town, you know? So anyway, it's crazy town. We'll see. in my head wanting to tell a story like a sobriety story about like celebrities that come to town on race day weekend that are sober and like where you see them but I was like edit, edit, edit <laughs> I wasn't going to say any names obviously but like it's kind of weird when you're sitting across the room and you're like uh isn't that so and so <laughs> What are they doing here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Addiction does, affects everyone, you know? But anyway, it is a fun weekend. For me, it'll be like a really laid back weekend. Well, Alex just had something to do on race day weekend. I asked him, or race Sunday. I asked him last night, I said, what do you want to do this weekend? He was like, I don't care. He's like, I don't have anything to do. He goes, maybe I might go do something Saturday, but I doubt he'll go out because that means he, and you have to be down there at like the crack ass of dawn, like seven on Sunday. And it takes you like an hour and a half to get into the racetrack. The last year he got VIP parking or these press passes. So he just drove right in. But, um, yeah, so it's like you have to get up super early. So he didn't go out last Saturday night, I think, or last year. I think he went to bed like really super early. And um, so who knows? We'll see. And then um, I'm like losing that. What was I going to tell? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. All right. Well, I'm going to get off here, and I'll talk to you guys in a little while. I love you. Bye. Hey, you guys. It's like 1.50, and I just left Tanya's house a little bit ago. We went to the Meyer to go grocery shopping. My life is so exciting, isn't it? Before that, I did a live stream, then Alex came home, and then I come, come home, and then I hung out with him and talked for a little while, and um, I'm like in this construction zone, and it's like so confusing. My jaw is like really, really hurting, but I don't think it's my tooth. It doesn't feel like my tooth. I don't know what the problem is. I need to go get it checked out been hurting for too many days in a row. It really kind of freaks me out a little bit, to be honest. It's raining in Indiana.
Indianapolis. It's 59 degrees. <clears throat> what are you doing right now? Somebody sent me this thing or tweeted me this thing and I'm actually going to look into it. I'm like really excited about it and it's called huntakillerithink.com. I'm going to reach out to them and see if they'll let me do it for free to try it. But it's like they send you this thing every month. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like how you like solve like this serial killer thing. And it's like supposed to be really cool. Like BuzzFeed is behind it and all these other people are behind it. And somebody sent me the tweet about it. And at first I was like, what is this? And then I was like, oh my God, like I really want to do this. So I think I'm going to reach out to them. And then if, if they won't, then I'll just pay for it and do it because I really want to do it. But I guess it's like they send you like your first clue or they send you like, and you have to kind of like do an investigation about it. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? If I do it, I'm going to announce it tomorrow on here. And then you guys have to do it with me. We can, like, talk about it on the vlog. But you can't leave, like, comments and give away to other people, like, how they're solving it. But we could do it together. Wouldn't that be really fun? I think that would be awesome. It's for, like, people that are, like, obsessed with, like, reading about serial killers and, like, trying to figure out why they did the things they did. And then you love mystery books and you try to, like, solve mysteries and you love mystery movies and stuff like that. So, I, it's like you get to actually... It's like, you know those murder mystery parties? But it's like you do it yourself at home for a month. I think it sounds really cool. It's like a subscription box game. How cool is that, right? Hunt a Killer, I think it's called. So I'm gonna look into that tomorrow. And let's see. know what else. What do you guys think of my mukbang videos on my main channel? It's interesting because I've gotten a lot of criticism from people that have watched my videos for a long time saying that they cannot support me watching gross amounts of food. And while I understand that getting an extra value meal from McDonald's and an extra value meal from McDo from Burger King, because I did that yesterday in my vlog, is probably considered large amounts of food. I did not even finish eating the Whopper or the Big Mac, and I hardly finished the fries. I threw away like the most of the container of the fries. So it wasn't like I grossly overate and stuffed all this food in my mouth. But I do love doing the mukbangs, and I'm going to continue to do them because they're fun for me to do. And I really enjoy just sitting down and eating my meal and talking to you guys. And like, I may do lean cuisines and do healthy meals or something, you know, I don't know. It just depends on what I'm eating for that evening. And um, the really interesting thing was that um, I got a lot of support from a lot of people on it. And they were like, it's, uh, I, I think that the fact that I'm having fun with them maybe kind of shows the video. You know what I mean? But I want to try some new things on my channel, you know? Like, I came into the game as a drama channel. I didn't even really came, come into the game as a drama channel. If you guys want to know the truth, I don't even know if these videos are still up. But like my very first video on my main channel, well years ago, I just drove around in a car like I'm doing right now and talked for like 45 minutes, true story. And I had like 200 subscribers and I thought that was cool because it was like 100 people watch my videos every day and liked them. Um, they were such bad quality, but it was, I enjoyed doing it. And then I privatized all the, and a lot of them were just sitting down and talking and telling funny stories, but I was very uncomfortable on camera. I never really got comfortable on camera. But I did make a very good friend through it. My friend Devin, who lives in Canada, like we met through that channel and are still friends to this day. And um, I mean, he jokes. He was like, I was the number one ultimate fanboy. Back then it was like this joke between us because I was like, nobody watches and even knows who I am, right? 
So then when I did my booktube channel and I decided I want to come back over here and, or to my main channel and start making videos, I d didn't know what to do. And so like I did a video about like what this channel would be about. It was very awkward. And then I did a video about being fat. Um, and I did it at the pool and I was eating pizza and I said I was going to go on a diet. It's now been a year and I still haven't gone on it. I, I still haven't lost any weight. But, um... But people still comment on that video about how much they relate to it. And then, um, I did a video about the day that Alton Sterling was killed. And, um, I think I called the video the day that Alton Sterling was killed. And I remember it was my very first unmonetized video that they demonetized. And I think because the word killed was in the title. And um, I didn't understand it at the time, but I was like, this video is important, too important for me that I'm leaving it up. I'm not going to take it down. Um, and so then it was like a, I did some silly videos, like what we did on 4th of July and things like that. It just were nothing. I didn't really know what to do with this channel. And then I made that video that drama video that people started noticing me doing drama channels and I just I don't know enough about that like I was talking to my friend Dustin tonight he's like you need to do more drama everybody always tells me you need to do more drama you're so funny with it but like I don't know maybe I will do one I have one that I want to kind of make a video about it is pouring down rain. I do not like when semis pass me in construction zones. today that I wanted to like pick up the camera and show it. Did you guys like it when I showed like more yesterday of just like random clips? Although my video, my vlog ended up being an hour. And then I had all these people that were like, could you please post a shorter vlog so I can catch up? <laughs> so I'll make this a shorter vlog tonight, I promise. if it just ended right there. I really wanted to sit outside and read tonight, but it's like our front porch is like, the way that it sits, it's like, I can't because it just is like, it rains right on you if you're sitting out there. And if it was warmer, I would, but it, it's 59, but it feels like it's like 50. I bought a magazine for tomorrow at the Meyer. It's my bag and stuff. Play back there. I also bought a tray, a white tray. So if I continue to do mukbangs, that I can show it on there. So it'll be easier to see the food that I'm eating.
thinking a lot about the house that I grew up in recently. We went to Alex's mom's house the other night and her air conditioning is broken and she had all the windows open and it was actually really cool in the house and she kind of lives off of a lake and so that like the water from the air was coming off the lake and she was like uh, complaining about the air conditioning she broke. She's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I was like, but it's so nice in here. And she was like, it reminded me of my mom's and like, we had air conditioning when I was growing up, but like we didn't, uh, we didn't uh, have the air conditioning on a lot of the whole summer. Like my mom, because we lived like our house was in the was like backed into the woods. And so the whole backside of the house was so cool because it had like a creek and the woods and stuff. And so she would just open the windows at night and it was so cool. And I can remember like hearing like the animals in the woods and stuff, like the windows were open. I loved it. In my little pajamas, my little shorty pajamas that I would wear. like true like it's Memorial Day weekend so you know like back in the day like that's when summer was over was like the last week before Memorial Day weekend I think most of the kids get out this week our friend you know Maddie she's been in some of my booktube videos she is gonna be in ninth grade next did she say ninth grade next year? yeah I think so ninth grade next year and um, gosh she's growing up and she said she was out this Wednesday so she got out today from school today was her last day Happy summer, Maddie. And a lot of other people were telling me that their kids were out for the summer. There is nothing like summer as a kid, is there? I used to have so much fun in the summers. Sleepovers and riding bikes. and I just felt like summers were endless and you would get up so early and I've talked on here a lot about this before, but I went to tennis camps like every summer, but they were always done at like, you would go there and they started at like seven and so they were done before lunch. So like at 11 you were done. And so I would come home and I never napped back then. I don't know how I had so much energy as a kid. Can't imagine. But anyway, um, I would um, come home at 11 and then all my friends were just wanting to like play and stuff. So we would um, go in the creek and make forts. I had a huge tree house behind my house. And um, we would play in the tree house and baseball in the cul-de-sac, soccer, everything, every sport you can imagine. We didn't play football a lot though. I don't remember what we did if it rained. And, you know, like, this is like generation, the generation right before video games got big. Because I can remember as I got older, like 14, 15, like Atari came out when I was probably like 10, nine, like 8, 9, 10. I mean, I'm sure it was like big before that, but like that's when it, like I got an Atari. And then Nintendo came out. And, like everybody had the Nintendo. But like, I remember playing like Nintendo at like my friend Brian's house on like at a sleepover, maybe for like an hour or two, but like we wouldn't be like 10 hours on playing video games, you know? But I do remember playing like Monopoly to like three o'clock in the morning, like crazy obsessive people, Brian and I playing Monopoly and his mom coming in in her long white nightgown and going, you guys are rolling the dice really loud. And she would get really upset with us. And I remember he had this like carpet that was like red and blue, like plaid. And it was like, it wasn't even like really like carpet carpet. It was just like flat, you know what I'm talking about? And so he'd say, okay, roll the dice on the carpet, not on the board. And then we forget, we start rolling on the board again because we got so excited. We made up our own rules to Monopoly and everything. And then she'd come in and she'd say, you guys, the dice, seriously. And it'd be like five o'clock in the morning and we finally go to bed and we leave the game. Do you guys remember this? You leave the game exactly where you left it. 
and then you would like wake up the next day and you'd like immediately, like you'd eat, like your parents, like whoever, you, if you slept over at somebody's house or they slept over at yours, they make you pancakes, they'd always look like Mickey Mouse or something like that, right? You have pancakes or, you know, something good. And then um, you'd like go right back up to the game again. And you could play Monopoly for three days straight. I miss those days. Why don't we play as adults? Like, that's why I love this whole idea of the serial killer game. Like, I think we need to play more as adults, you know? Like, use our imaginations. That's one of the reasons why I love being an author. Like, I can just, like, go with my mind and just enjoy stuff, you know? So much fun to me. I actually think I am going to make this a really short vlog tonight so that people can catch up. And I've been on here for 17 minutes. And I think... I have other parts to add to this, don't I? Like, some donut, don't you? Don't you wish your girlfriend looked hot like me? Did you guys put shows on in your car? <sighs> I do. <sighs> Dance moves. <laughs> oh my god. Life is so good. It really is. Like, even when you're having, like, the shittiest day in the entire world, like, when everything is fucking wrong, and you just, like, sit there in your car, and you're like, one day this will all be gone, it will all be over, like, I just need to, like, don't you wish your girlfriend was me? Dance, because what's the point? I mean, you can't do anything about the shit that's happening in your life anyway. It's gonna happen, you know? People are gonna get shitty with you. People are gonna get sick. People are gonna get die. Boyfriends and girlfriends are going to break up with you. Life is going to suck sometimes. You're going to get fired from that fucking job. You don't fucking want it anyway. You know? I can't pay your bill. Don't you wish your girlfriend look like me. I mean, you just have to give in sometimes to it and just laugh at the ridiculousness of life, you know? Because sometimes it's just too much. It's just too much. It's too much seriousness, you know? like I can't like one more thing if you throw one more thing at me I just think I'll lose my shit and those are the moments where I you just you know don't you wish your girlfriend look not like me I mean that's what I do I get in my car I drive around I listen to audiobooks I listen to music and I dance because it's just too much you know and I take myself way too seriously there are people in this world that have it they have it so bad that I could not even imagine in a million years creatively come up with what their existence looks like and I want to bitch and moan about something pathetic, you know? I don't have the right to do that. I don't have the right to do that. I should be very blessed for the life that I have, so. Sometimes I just need to realign my spirit, dance a little bit take a deep breath and just enjoy life, you know? And today's been one of those days. Today's been a good day. So, all right, you guys, I love you. If nobody told you that they loved you today, I love you. I think we, every one of us, deserve to hear I love you on a daily basis.